So, how did Louisville fare in 2015? Well, I guess it just depends on what part of the season you look at. In the beginning, not much went right for the Cardinals, losing their first three games. And all three were close losses, but still losses nonetheless. But they ended up closing the year out strong, winning six of their last seven games. And during the end of that um, strong run for the Cardinals, we saw a quarterback that has a bright future, and that is Lamar Jackson, a dual-threat QB, Threw for 12 touchdown passes last year and almost 2,000 yards through the air. But he was also the team's leading rusher with nearly 1,000 yards and 11 TDs. So a combined 23 touchdowns for Mr. Jackson. And even though he was a big part of their running attack while he was a quarterback, he wasn't their entire running attack. You have Brandon Ratcliffe, who I think will get more action this year. Of course, uh, Ratcliffe, the primary RB. Wide receivers loaded in this area, and they'll rely on the three J's. That's James, Jamari, as well as Jalen. James Quick, Jamari Staples, as well as Jalen Smith. Receivers last year that were fairly balanced in terms of receptions. So that's a good thing for Lamar Jackson is that he will have three reliable targets. As far as the offensive line, boy, were they young in this department last year, and at times their lack of experience showed. The thing that Louisville has to do is protect the quarterback. They gave up over 40 sacks a year ago, not to mention nearly 100 tackles for loss. And this is something that, you know, through a year of experience, you think that maybe they've matured in this area. And as you can see, they've got plenty of returning starts from a year ago, a combined 41 starts in all for Louisville returning three full-time starters. When Charlie Strong, as well as defensive coordinator Vance Bedford, wore at Louisville, there's no doubt that defense was a trademark for this team, and this year's defense has a chance to be pretty good. I mean, they returned everybody in the secondary. Keep in mind, this was a defense that forced turnovers, had 17 interceptions in all, and very active in terms of tackling. Josh Harvey Clemens, they'll return him at the uh, strong safety spot. He had three interceptions a year ago, and plus you have Trumaine Washington, um, just like Harvey Clemens, very active. He'll play a corner position. He had 52 tackles and four picks. Now, looking at the linebacker core, they are going to miss James Burgess. It was a very integral part of that defense, but in no way, shape, or form will Louisville's linebacker core be without proven talent. Keith Kelsey's back, 82 stops a year ago for the Cardinals, and a guy that last year got a second chance. Of course, people in Big 12 country will know who this guy is, Devontae Fields. Yeah, that guy from TCU who was Big 12 Defensive Freshman of the Year a few years back. But, of course, had injuries and off-the-field issues, and that led to him no longer being a part of TCU. And went to a community college a couple years ago, and we saw him last year emerge for Louisville and have 64 tackles and six and a half sacks. And now Fields entering his senior year. Defensive line will be the big thing for the Cardinals. they got to get pressure on the quarterback and won't be easy because you lost your experienced defensive ends, including Sheldon Rankin. So now James Hearns will emerge as a full-time starter, had a little more than 10 tackles a year ago. But nose tackle, no problem as far as experience, but D'Angelo Brown, he had 30 tackles in 2015. Time now to break down the Louisville schedule. And if you see a first glance, there aren't a lot of Saturday football games for Louisville. In fact, one-third of their schedule is going to be played on Thursday or Friday, of course, for national television purposes. Probably their toughest non-conference game is going to be the one at Houston, but it's not until the end of the year. Unfortunately for the Cardinals, their two toughest games in conference are way too early in the season. That's right, they're not going to have too much time to get ready for Florida State, who will come into Papa John Stadium on September 17th, and the matchup against defending ACC champion Clemson, the first day of October on the road. If Louisville played in the Coastal Division of the ACC, I'd feel good about their chances of making it to the championship game. But life's not fair, right? Playing in the Atlantic, you got Florida State and Clemson to deal with, but still should be a solid year with nine wins for Bobby Petrino's team.